so long. For me, it is now in danger of becoming too long. The First Minister is never off the beat. In particular, in this day and age, there is virtually no privacy. Which block of flats did he go? The second one. On my side, oh, where did he come? He come out. Yeah. Uh, he did someone. I don't know. means that there is a much greater intensity. Dare I say it, brutality. The one Looks like they're locking the door, keeping the door open. All in all, the three and one and actually for a long time, without it being apparent, it takes its toll on you and on those around you. And that's true in the best of times, but has been more so in recent years. Being in this country through the COVID pandemic is by far the toughest thing I've done. It may well be the toughest thing I ever do. Here they come. Now, by no stretch of the imagination, was my job the hardest in the country during that I don't know. Yeah. The weight of responsibility was immense. And it's only very recently, I think, that I started to comprehend, let alone process, the physical and mental impact of it on me. So what I'm really saying is this. If the only question was, can I battle on... Do I have the sirens on coming up the street then, yeah? No. No. But the question is, can I give this job everything the, the man who deserves for another year, let alone for the remainder of this parliamentary term? Give it every ounce of energy that it needs in the way that I have strived to do every day for the past eight years. The answer, honestly, is different. Oh. My second reflection is... It's a shame on come out then. Yeah, I feel more and more each day... I'm sure there's another car up at the other side of the bollards. Police just come out and nowhere to be seen now. Decisions that should not be controversial at all quickly become so. Issues that are controversial end up almost irrationally so. Too often, they pay experience young people and ensure they grow up nurtured and loved. Yeah, there's definitely another car up there. Just seeing the blue lights. Winning independence is. See if any more cops walk in. every fibre of my being and it is a cause I am convinced is being won. Liar. I intend to be there as it is won every step of the way. Yesterday morning I attended the funeral of a very, very dear friend and long-standing independence activist, a wonderful man by the name of Alan Ike. Someone has? Yes. Is but that someone? No. My time is first minister. Um, He's getting off then, probably now. Here's another van saying so. Fucking two vans and a car this side, a fucking van and a car on the other side. Is this not bad getting off, is he? It's only need one fucking car. And turn your lights off now, mate. Okay now. He's getting off this fella. In building the future of this country, but I think in terms of leadership, it's time for someone else. I think the easier sometimes thing to do, and the thing that traditional politicians tend to do, is just cling on and on and on and on and on until you know everybody is sort of pushing for you, you to go. It's it's harder because there's always reasons not to. Yeah, if I stay a bit longer, I can do this. If I stay a bit longer, you know something might happen. It's always easier to find a reason not to make a decision. I think it's better to make the decision when you know in your heart that it's the right I don't know whether he's drove up to park outside the block or he's trying to turn around. Here he comes now. I entered Parliament. You're stopping, are you? Looking at me, are you, you little punk? I have literally done this in one capacity or another. Surrounded by gammon.
or like with every person, the human being, and contribute to the world. Does that seem? Szobla obedzie. Looks like an inspector. Lulu, inspector Gammon. Put your seatbelt on, officer. You putting your seatbelt on. Here's Mechi. Put your seatbelt on. Yeah, driving with no seatbelt. The inspector. Put your seatbelt on. Look, no seatbelt. The police, he, doesn't need it. he does, and he's using a handheld device while driving. There's his reg. Fucking punk. There's the inspector back. Oh, he's got his belt on now. DC one six J K Y J K V sorry. You got your seatbelt on now, have you? You didn't have it on just then, did you? When we caught you on film driving. What's that car, dickhead? No oh, good taking your seatbelt off now, mate. We've already caught you. There's his side police. Who is this inspector? Him. Driving without a seatbelt. Loads of them. Another one. Fucking hell, there's loads of them. There's about seven fucking... Three vans, three cars. High risk.
time faced with all the facts that the main hypothesis I was working on at that time was that Nicola had gone in the river. This has been misconstrued in the press oh. initially too. At this stage, nobody, uh, none of that death camp has indicated that Nicola was there. However, I'd just like to point out... Chat and shit at the gate by the looks of it. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's two women. Well, are the women? You don't know these days, do you? <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> ah, I can't see. Listening to that call. We are of course, like you would in any major inquiry, done an exhaustive amount Put of your seatbelt on. We have no seatbelt again. Looking no seatbelts. Entitlements of Merseyside Police is just a joke. Here's me number one suspect, the inspector. He likes to drive with no seatbelt because he's entitled. Put your seatbelt on. Look, straight engine on. Quick look at his pad. You're putting your belt on, mate. You're not used to it, are you, like the rest of us? DG one six JKV inspector driving with no belt. But I think it's also um, really uh, obvious that we are being inundated with false information, um, accusations, and rumours, which is distracting us from um, our work. The red van um, has been reported that. It was in the area on the morning of the 27th, like many other hundred witnesses passing down that road and checked the CCTV at the great... Still no belt. Look. Drive away with no belt on. Disgusting. Disgusting. 